Many of you may be thinking, I want to get outside and get out on that water, but right now it's not the time to go kayaking, canoeing, paddle boarding, and that's because this water level behind me is simply too high. I want to step out of the screen so you can get a better look at the rushing water here at White River. We're right next to Washington Street and White River Parkway. Now taking a little bit of a jaunt here downstream, you can see just how high the water level is. You can see if you look closely this pathway here, this is normally above water, but it's been completely washed out. Due and that's why crews are warning you to use common sense before you get out on the water. The river becomes unnavigable for people that are inexperienced. Even experienced kayakers and canoeists can get, get in trouble. This past weekend, emergency crews suited up and answered a number of water rescue calls. Five women had to be rescued after losing control of their kayaks during a birthday celebration on the White River. Thankfully, due to quick action by rescue crews, all five live to tell the tale. So the people this weekend were pretty lucky considering. Absolutely, they were very fortunate, especially since they were not wearing life jackets. They had them with them, however, they weren't wearing them. And we had two people get swept downstream and weren't accounted for for a short amount of time. Indiana law requires everyone on a vessel, including kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards, to have a life jacket that fits, but you are not required to wear them. Both the fire chief and Indiana conservation officers tell me not wearing a life jacket is a common mistake that could cost you your life. Most of the time, what we find is people on the river are not wearing their life jackets. If you're not wearing it, if you're in the water and once you need it, it's extremely difficult to put a life jacket on once you're already in the water. If you can even um, reach it at that point. The common reason people don't wear them is because they think they can swim. However, in these waters with debris, trees, and rocks, you may get knocked unconscious or stuck in a current you can't control. That's when your life jacket that you think you may not need becomes a tool to save your life. Lauren Casey, RTV6.